The American Revolution. The British had little interest in Illinois because it was far from their colonies along the Atlantic Ocean. When those colonies declared their independence in 1776, the British had very few troops in Illinois. Most of the fighting in the American Revolutionary War, which took place from 1775 to 1783, happened far to the east. However, one important campaign brought the revolution to Illinois. In 1778, a Virginian named George Rogers Clark led 175 volunteers to capture British forts in Illinois. Striking quickly and by surprise, Clark's troops captured Kaskaskia and surrounding, and surrounding towns in southern Illinois. Then, Clark led his men on a daring attack on British troops at Vincennes, in which is now Indiana. His victory there meant that Illinois would one day become part of the United States. Point to the picture of George Rogers Clark, where he is in Kentucky in 1778 to take Kaskaskia from the British. He then led a small force across rough winter terrain to capture Vincennes, Indiana. Point to the Liberty Bell at the top of the page. This is the Liberty Bell of the West. After George Rogers Clark captured Kaskaskia, the townspeople rang their village church bell in celebration. The date was July 4th, 1778, the second anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. The bell to the right became known as the Liberty Bell of the West.